Critics mock the new Romeo and Juliet over interracial love agenda. Some social media users criticize the play over casting the black actress as Juliet. Y'all are on the app dogging her out like she is an animal. People didn't care when they made a garden gnome version of Romeo and Juliet. So this has nothing to do with rewriting history. It just has to do with plain racism. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Hi, it's Keisha. Nice to meet you all. Get in here because we've got quite a bit to discuss. Now, now, as usual, I feel like I always have my thoughts and opinions and I want to give it to you guys like in a rant style because I'm so pissed off by what it is that I've been seeing for like the last month or so. Basically, there is a Romeo and Juliet theatre play thing that's taking place for I think the full month of May, maybe a bit longer, I'm not too sure, but it's taking place here in the UK starring Tom Holland alongside an actress called Francesca Amawuda Rivers, who I've never heard of prior to this whole situation taking place, but she is, in my opinion, beautiful and it seems like the world disagrees agrees people are literally comparing her to men like KSI like Don Tolliver and it's just so crazy because I didn't have to go digging for this like I open up TikTok I see a video of Tom Holland um on stage with Juliet and then sorry with on <laughs> I mean Francesca and the whole comment section is thousands of thousands of thousands of people on one video alone talking about how ugly she is talking about the fact that they can't work out which one's Romeo, it's just like dehumanizing her and my heart goes out to her because nobody deserves that amount of hate and I know that in my own personal time of being on social media, I've gotten my hate but nothing compares to this and it really takes somebody with thick skin to be able to just like still keep going so I have to give her her tens when it comes to that but it doesn't mean that it's still not getting to her. Where is Tom Holland? Co-star to co-star I can only imagine that she's probably shared with you how the bullying is making her feel because that's exactly what's happening there's bullies there's people literally and the thing is yeah you know people have no shame when they don't even be making fake accounts to say this ish like they say it on their main account they do not care and it's like they get so many likes on it they get so many comments of people responding and gassing them up like people generally feel like this woman looks ugly and my thing is i don't see it now does she have the softest of features no but is that okay yes also people are saying okay but isn't romeo and juliet supposed to be italian well tom holland is not italian he looks very british to me and to my recollection he is like english irish so now what <laughs> Tom Holland doesn't look Italian to me. Tom Holland looks very British. If you've lived in the UK, then no offense or anything, but there's a bunch of Tom Hollands, okay? Again, no shade, but if we're gonna be speaking facts, we have to speak facts, okay? I think people wanted it to be played by a white woman because the people who previously played Juliet were all white women. If you don't want it to be white, then you want it to be Zendaya. Zendaya didn't audition. Francesca auditioned. She had clearly the best audition and she got the role. Now what? People are mad because she's a dark-skinned woman who is actually content with having her natural hair out, with having braids, with having not necessarily Eurocentric features, but with her having more of African features. Now what? You're mad at it, but what do you want her to do? She can't go and cry in a ditch. No. She's literally making her money. She's performing day in, day out. She's working with Tom Holland and she is turning her dreams into a reality. So why are you mad? Actually, wait, I know why you guys are mad. And also the thing is, you guys have this much energy and you guys say, oh my God, I'm only there for Tom Holland. But did he recognize you? Did you get chosen? Were you picked? Did he acknowledge you? Did he say hi to you? Did he wave at you? No, bitch, I'll be mad too. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put you onto a game that I've been super obsessed with for the last couple of weeks. If I'm not filming, editing, or, you know, going out and about, which isn't really happening that much lately, but if I'm not doing those things, then I'm typically grabbing my phone and playing a game. I've been super duper obsessed with Love and Pies, which is the sponsorship for today's video. So excited to talk to you guys about it because if I'm obsessed with the game, I want you to be obsessed with the game so we can all be obsessed together. That's how things work around here. Love and Pies is all about mystery, it's about cooking, it's about building a business, and also a little bit of love too if that's a part of your journey i know for me it is <laughs> love and pies is a merge game where you can combine tasty treats and make them even more sweeter Mwah. like i love me i love me some food I love me some romance. I love me some mystery, a little bit of gossip too. I like to figure out who said what about who and all of that fun stuff. Discover something unique, easy to learn and hard to put down. Alongside solving satisfying mysteries, you also gotta keep your ears out for the streets because people are talking in these towns, people are gossiping. Help Amelia rejuvenate her kitchen, make it fresh and just personalized to you and whatever it is that you want, of course. All the important information will be linked down below in the description. Definitely go ahead and check it out alongside the pinned comment. On the screen right now, I'm gonna have a QR code, scan it, 
play it let me know how it goes for you and yeah she's getting so much hate and you've even got like other black actresses saying please tom holland use your platform and speak up it's been a month and a half and this guy has been ab absolute stum now listen listen tom holland can't end racism neither is he going to end racism that's not what this is about people want him to speak up because he has such a huge platform the crazy dweebs out there would rather hear from a white person They'd rather hear a white person say, please stop the racism, stop the bullying, as opposed to a black person who's actually living it. Should Tom Holland use his platform to speak out about his co-star? Well, yes. Absolutely. If I was on set and one of my co-stars was getting bullied for being anything that isn't technically acceptable by the vast majority for whatever goddamn reason, then I'm gonna use my platform. If I had the bigger platform and if I know I have a reach, because let's be, let's, be, let's be honest, Tom Holland knows he has a reach. Tom Holland knows that if he speaks about something, people are gonna go ahead and buy it out. It's flipping Tom Holland okay he also plays spider-man i know like his whole life is not spider-man but like you have to understand why people are expecting him to speak up because he has this huge reach and a lot of people who are hating on francesca are not only children they're grown adults too but there are children who should know better and probably aren't taught well by their parents but one thing that they do 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 <laughs> one thing they do is go on social media and care about what celebrities have to say so let's not play dumb here Again, Tom Holland is not going to end racism, but he's dating a biracial girl. Like, he's dating Zendaya, somebody who typically stands up for black women, who is an advocate, who uses their platform and her power to try and make sure that the, the black women's, you know, are heard and seen um, as much as she possibly can, even though she does get backlash for that too. It's also not surprising in that breath because... I think people's silence is quite loud. And for this to have been going on for like a month and a half, maybe even a little bit longer, and he's just been stum about it, when he's still posting on social media, when he's quick to post about Zendaya at the Met Gala, you know, it just, he's basically not acknowledging it because he doesn't want to acknowledge it. And my thing is, you don't have to struggle with a statement when it comes to this. You can simply just take to the internet. You don't have to do like a video post. You can simply just say, stop the racism, stop the bullying to my co-star Francesca. It's too much. And I don't stand for that. You know, it literally takes about five seconds to write. And that's the thing. I'm also not surprised. Um, I don't want people to think that, oh my God, we need a white savior to come and fix this. No, it's not that. But also it's the white man that happens to have the most power, period, especially in a situation. This is a cast of a lot of black people. I saw a video of like so many black people on stage and I just thought, oh my goodness, like Tom Holland is like one of the few white people there. Bruh, bruh. A former actress on Bridgerton, she's she's literally got her foot on his neck. She's like, bro, speak the flip out. You don't need to put pressure upon Tom Holland's head top. I need my guy to say something, anything about the disgusting racial abuse being thrown at our angel, Fran. It was the ponda head top for me. Oh, she's standing on business. She's serious. Okay, let me be for real now. Comment, tweet, share, pressure him. If you could send that text to your sneaky link that you really shouldn't be talking to, you can do this. Ooh, girl. I mean, she's spitting facts. Our power as a people and a community should never be underestimated avengers assemble okay sis period i've never known juliet to be black i'm just gonna be completely honest with you we studied we, we studied shakespeare in school we watched romeo and juliet i watched the one with leonardo dicaprio juliet wasn't black but we're in 2024 you're telling me that people aren't aware of the fact that things aren't the same anymore people are going to want to be hella inclusive compared to what it was like back in the day now if you haven't woken up to that then i'm sorry but you're gonna have to because there's gonna be plenty of remakes plenty of performances plenty of movies that come out where you're probably going to be thinking like hmm that's not how i remembered it to be but i mean look things are changing people want to be more inclusive people want to go against what's normal and common in hollywood and just be challenging and i think that if it's done correctly then i'm definitely a supporter of it if it's not done correctly then it's like Ugh, i don't know people are saying that this was a setup for francesca to get hate do i think that it should have been played by a white person honestly i feel like it would have been much more safer do i feel like this was done deliberately to cause backlash hmm Juliet is traditionally played by a white person. Why are we involving black people into it? Literally putting a black person in the crossfires to receive all this backlash just because you want to be progressive and woke. I see where people are coming from when they think that because I feel like, okay, you know. But then again, it's just kind of like, you would think they wouldn't. Why would you want to cause backlash if you want people to come to the show? 
I, I just don't understand how that would work. Now, if it was a movie that was being released, this is a theater, you have to remember this is a play. If it was a movie that you can just watch on Amazon Prime, <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I don't know if that, I'm, I know what I'm trying to say, but I can't get the words to come out, if that makes sense. But I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm trying to say. I just hope this isn't done deliberately, but also I don't know what you would gain from it apart from people talking about it. But then wouldn't you want to be, wouldn't you want your play to be spoken about because it was like a phenomenal performance and because it was daring and it is like the best Romeo and Juliet play ever done. If you have gone to see the show, let me know what you think of it. Some of you guys are probably thinking, Keisha, you live in London, why don't you go and watch it? Girl, when have I ever been interested in Roman Juliet, let alone Shakespeare? I enjoyed it when I was in year nine, but girl, I'm 23.5 years of age. I'm good. I'm literally just here to see Tom Holland. I couldn't care about her. A lot of people are bitter at someone who's actually successful and you want to be in her shoes, but you're not in her shoes. She auditioned, she got the role. She's performing alongside Tom Holland every single night. And that's why you're mad that's why you're mad it makes perfect sense you're a bitter bitch like stay away from those kind of people because then in your bio it'll be like oh my god like black lives matter like i'm a girl's girl like oh my god you know spread love and then it's always those people who have bible scriptures in their bio girl how much of a hypocrite can you be i kind of get sad seeing it and like i kind of put off this video i'm not gonna lie because it is a heavy one you know it is a heavy one because i'm a dark-skinned black woman myself and i just feel like is it's gonna continue happening. Like, I'm happy that she was casted, but also maybe it would have been safer for it to have been a white woman, a brunette, because that's what we've known Juliet to be. But also, if you actually put your thinking caps on, and if you were smart, then you know that Romeo and Juliet was originally played by two men. Just thought I'd throw that bit of knowledge out there. Yeah, Tom Holland should really be speaking up. Like, it's kind of strange that he's been silent about it. But also, I think that the silence, again, is speaking volumes. And you just have to take it for what it is. Is it disappointing? Absolutely. I mean, this is something that you work with every single night, for the most part, or every other night. She's literally Juliet, your Romeo, as in you guys are the main characters, you know? So, the fact that you see it happening. And how I know that Tom Holland sees it is because... He leaves his comment section open and it's got thousands and thousands of people literally either praising him and his new haircut. Oh my God, he's got a bus cut. <laughs> oh my God. Or majority of them are saying, ew, she doesn't look like Juliet. She's ugly. She's ugly. She looks like KSI. Why isn't it Zendaya? This is not the Romeo and Juliet that I knew. Well, bitch, is 2024. So a lot of things that you thought you knew are about to be undone. And you have to get ready for it. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's certain things I'm like, I don't want, I don't need to see a remake about it because it's always going to flop in my humble opinion. I'm just here for the original most of the time. Or even when it comes to like a lot of um, theater remakes or performances, I'm just kind of like, ah, you see, E for effort. <laughs> no, all, all jokes aside though, I just feel like maybe it could have been safer if it was played by a white person, but Keeping it safe with everything in life isn't really always the best option. Sometimes you need a little bit of a risk. Was it a risk having a dark-skinned black woman play Juliet? Yes. Can we have a real ass conversation real quickly? Can we actually speak? I'm putting my laptop down because girl, if we're gonna get into some things, we need to get into some things, okay? You guys are making it seem like Tom Holland is like the most attractive person on the planet. I just, need, like, like, you guys are making it seem like, oh my God, like, it's a privilege and honor that she's working with him. Is it an honor to be working alongside Tom Holland, somebody who is prominent in Hollywood? Absolutely, you know, but also, you need to put more respect on her name. Put some respect on her name, like, she's got a degree. She went to university, Oxford specifically, which is a very prestigious university here in the UK. Wikipedia is playing with this picture. You're telling me you had to use a pixelated picture of Francesca when there's a few that exist out there with better quality. Really? She made her West End debut opposite Tom Holland in 2024 as Juliet in Romeo and Juliet. So big up her though. This is her big first gig. I think that's huge and she should be absolutely proud of herself and I hope that many more to come. I think people who have seen it have said that Francesca is a phenomenal actress and she is the one to look out for. Some of you guys are not even trying to get to know her as an actress. You guys are not even trying to welcome her in with open arms. All you guys do is bash and hate and criticize people who don't look like you and enough is enough. Now I do like Tom Holland and I think that's the part that's kind of just like ugh. I do like Tom Holland because I do think he's charming. I do think he is a likable person in Hollywood. Like I do tune into his interviews. I do think that he has this aura and this energy that, like Zendaya basically, I get it. I get it, okay? Um, but you guys make it seem like Tom Holland is a 10 out of 10. 
Like, you guys make it seem like she should be bowing down to this man because he's so jaw-dropping gorgeous and she's just meh. I can imagine her going through her comment section and just thinking, damn, am I ugly? You're not ugly, bitch, you're not. I do think it was a little bit of a setup because why why is her outfit, why are their outfits like that? I don't remember, Re I don't remember Romeo and Juliet wearing trackies. A tracksuit top and jeans. That's not the Romeo and Juliet I remember. So the wardrobe, rah. Where's the gowns at though? <laughs> like, where's the, give me the medieval. Maybe that was the wrong word to use, but even where I said it, like, honestly, this, the costumes ain't making sense. The costumes ain't costuming. I'm seeing Tom Holland, who's meant to play Romeo, in a flipping jumper, black jeans, and some adjust trainers. I'm just like, sorry? <laughs> where did I do this at? Costumes don't make no sense to me. If somebody can please enlighten me, then let me know. However, I do think that when it comes to a lot of theater shows, they do put more effort in wardrobe, hair, makeup, you know? I hope that she isn't crying day in, day out. But then again, if that was me, I would be crying and I probably would quit. But then again, I signed some contracts, I have obligations, but then again, I would quit. Because <laughs> one thing about me, anything that's going to jeopardize my mental health, I don't want it. I don't want it. But then again, I do want me some Shaquain, you know? So it's like... <laughs> I'm kidding, but seriously, the mental health is so important. I feel like a lot of people just need to think before they type stuff. And it's brazy that like, the comments that I've seen saying that she looks like a man and that her jaw is so manly. But last time I checked, last time I checked. And the worst thing is it, it be coming from your own people too. Like, it, it's just like even worse when it comes from your own people. It's like, bro, you're one of us. <laughs> Move correct. So many of you guys are trying to say that she looks ugly. Oh, she looks too manly, but doesn't your mum have the same facial features? Doesn't your auntie? Ah. You never had this chat for her when you see her out and about in the streets. You wouldn't say anything. Francesca, darling, if you're watching this, oh my God, darling, I sound like Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm a random bitch. Um, Francesca, darling, if you happen to come across this video, baby, just know that you are doing the goddamn thing and just know that you are on the right path chin up hello my darlings i love when charlotte tilbury says that is she cancelled yeah tom holland speak the flip out i mean it's too late now to be honest like it, it, it's one of those things where it's like okay bro like it's too late now like you're just not really gonna like nah you're not you're not gonna say anything shout out to rachel zegler though because she has nothing to do with romeo and juliet and she went over on her twitter and she, i think she liked a post about like how francesca is my juliet and, you know just being supportive i know people hate rachel zegler does she talk a lot yeah, shout out to Rachel Zegler. She's got nothing to do with the project, but she is just bigging up another, um, you know, actress in the space. And I think that's so beautiful. I think it's admirable. And I think more people should be like that. If you've got nothing nice to say about someone's appearance, bitch, keep it stum. Didn't your parents, did your parents not teach you better? Speaking of parents, your parents shouldn't be paying for your internet bill. Some of you bitches don't deserve internet. Oh yeah, you've also got people saying that Zendaya should speak out. Why should Zendaya speak out? Do you know how humiliating that would be for Tom Holland? Imagine somebody who's not even a part of the show speaking out, but then you and your big back can't even do that. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. And that'd be very embarrassing if she spoke on behalf of Tom Holland when Tom is literally seeing Francesca day in, day out, dressing rehearsals, you know, cast meetings like be for real i'm just trying to know who st who styled them and for, what, and for why you know you can get some really cute like gowns and like shakespearean couture <laughs> is that what we're calling it shakespearean couture you can get it in charity shops or you can even go to like a fabrics let me stop i just don't get i don't get the wardrobe choices you guys are worried about the wrong things <laughs> let me tell you that but yeah would you guys be watching romeo and juliet are you gonna go are you not gonna go do you care what do you think of Juliet being a black woman's? What do you think of Tom Holland playing Romeo? Because there isn't much discourse about that. My thing is, I wouldn't have put Tom in... The, the name Tom is so... Let me stop. I wouldn't have put Tom in that role. But then again, you know, you never know. It's good to, like, come at your comfort zone and try new things. And they generally seem pleased with their work. But I just wish it was, like, a space where... She can go on the internet, scroll innocently on different platforms and just be able to just have fun during her downtime. I feel like I've been rambling for a very long time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys can go and show some support to Francesca, whether it's on her Instagram. I don't know whether it's private. I mean, if I was her, bitch, I'll go on private too. Because <laughs> you ain't going to see... Who, who do you 
think you are um but no if it's not private definitely go and show her some love send her a message uplifting words because i can imagine that going very far for her right now and um to any black people watching this hang in there <laughs> like <laughs> like i know i play around a lot and i know it sounds like i'm actually being sarcastic but for real hang in there like it's actually you know this world is just it's a lot it really is a lot and oh god i'm gonna go and sleep i'm joking <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep. Wake me up when things get better. <laughs> also, special thank you to Love and Pies for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys go and check it out. Again, the barcode will be on the screen. And yeah, I'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video. Bye.